Deanna from Stitches Quilting. We have a humongous giveaway going on. 15 yards of fabric for Facebook and another 15 yards of fabric for Instagram. I'm, this is almost taller than me. So you can enter this giveaway for the Facebook um, fabric giveaway or you can enter the Instagram fabric giveaway on Instagram. If you wanna try to double it up and enter on both platforms, go right ahead and do it. But we've got all of these beautiful holiday fabrics. The giveaway will end on December 5th. We are gonna share with you the URL to this post. And all you need to do to um, enter this giveaway is to like the post on Facebook and the original post, and we'll, we'll share that link in a minute. And then on Instagram, you just have to go to the post with the picture and the um, nutcracker. The, the main picture of this one is a picture of the nutcracker and the fabric together, and that's the main post that you need to interact with. Okay, but we've got fun things that we're doing, so let's set aside the giveaway. We will have, so this is our super big giveaway, but we're gonna have a giveaway just for today for our tutorial. So what we are going to do... Liz Boyce. Hi, Liz. Liz. How's it going? Delinda. Hi, Delinda. It's so good to see you. Um, we are doing live on Facebook and Instagram at the same time today, and I've got lots of help. Okay, the pattern is finally available for the curved soup uh, pattern. Oh, you don't think the, it's working, Matt? Go over to active. Oh, it didn't? Oh, you can just tap it active. You can tap it active on that mini chat. Just let us know. But I wrote the pattern. It is actually available on the blog post. But I'm gonna, in just a minute, I'm gonna have it uh, so that you guys can make comments and get the pattern. It is a nine page pattern. So it's pretty, pretty cool. Oh, it is available. So all you have to say at Facebook is send me the pattern in the comments or soup bowl pattern or the cozy soup bowl pattern. And you can spell cozy any number of ways because I put it in there. So if you're interested in the, getting the link for the pattern of where to download it from the internet on Facebook, um, you can go ahead and do that. On Instagram, go to the link in the profile and you'll see where to go down list. And on YouTube, it, the, the link will be in the description for you. So today, what we're gonna do, oh, do we have some questions, yeah. Elise? Well, Nancy says that would make an awful lot of soup bowl cozies. Oh, it is gonna make a lot of soup bowl cozies. And I've already made um, five so far, and I really wanna make a whole bunch of these. And for some holiday gifts, but I have to tell you, I might make like 10 for my own family because we are definitely a soup family. And and I just, I love these things. I don't know about you guys. So. Liz Boyce says you match. Oh, I match. Look, you guys. I match my, um, I know. It's just so festive. And I will take you guys on a tour of our home and show you guys all of the Christmas fabrics that are out and everything else going on. It is just so much fun. I've been making a lot of my soup bowl cozies in plaids because I just kind of feel like these plaids are gonna last for a really long time. And they're good for the holidays, but they're also good throughout the rest of the year. Now, what you're gonna win today, we're gonna have three winners on Facebook, two winners on Instagram, and two winners on YouTube. And what you're gonna get is we are gonna send you a kit for a soup bowl cozy with your batting fabric and everything else out of this black snowflake fabric. We think it'd be really fun to kind of share this. And I think it's great for any holiday and you can use it throughout the whole winter season. So, um, so that is what people are gonna to win today. We're gonna to send you your own kit to go home and make your own cozy with the pattern. But just so you know, we do have a 30% off coupon code for all fabrics and everything. We've got a whole bunch of holiday fabrics. The plaids, I've been trying to collect lots of plaids, but it's 30% off and the coupon code to use at Stitches Quilting is 30OFF in lower cases. And um, I wanted to show you that if you happen to have a layer cake or at home, that you can use a layer cake because we start with 10 inch squares. So this is a layer cake that we have that's the Christmas delivery fabrics that might be fun to use um, for some of these. But we also have a collection that's called Sew Ruby, 
that's available in a layer cake. And it's actually designed by a good friend of mine named Karina Gardner, and it's all reds and whites. And wouldn't that just be fun to use? So if you're interested in a layer cake, it, they're 30% off. So just food for fun. Okay, so let's get started on the cozy. So we are gonna have lots more lives. We're gonna be doing the hot pads, the ruffled hot pad. Um, I'm gonna show you guys some vinyl tricks. Um, the ruffled hot pad is really popular too. Maybe tomorrow, Elise, you think we should do the square hot pad? I don't know, we'll do either. Let me know if you want the ruffled hot pad tomorrow or the square hot pad too. So just let me know in the comments below. Okay, so let's get started making a cozy. I do have this as an SVG file. So if you have a Cricut Maker or any kind of um, cutting machine, I have this so it's in an SVG file and you can go ahead and cut it out on your, on your Cricut machines or cutting machines. So, but let's go ahead and start first. I kind of wanted to, uh, to make another buffalo plaid Lee one here. Lee says square hot pads tomorrow. Okay, square hot Liz pads. Boy, square hot pads. Okay, square hot pads. I know these square. are pretty nifty. They're pretty nifty. You turn them inside out and oh, they're so easy and Everyone fast. Everyone keeps saying square. Okay, we're gonna move the sewing. Oh, just to clarify, the sewing nutcracker does not come with the 15 yards of fabric. This guy, he breaks. And I don't think he'd make it through shipping. So we're gonna put him over here. Let's bring over my sewing machine and I'm gonna show you exactly what is in this pattern. I tried to do lots of illustrations. So for this, what you need is a piece of the, of a 10 inch square fabric. And I've got lots of pieces here. And then you're gonna need a piece of batting. I just used old batting pieces from quilts that I cut up. So I haven't cut in yet to, I have a lot of old batting pieces. You guys, it feels good to get rid of that, the scraps. So, and really any kind of batting would do, but if you want this to be a microwavable bowl, you would like to use all natural fibers like cotton and wool. So this is a Hobbs 8020 um, uh, batting that I'm sure all of you guys have laying around, okay? So you're gonna have one square, a 10 inch square of batting with a 10 inch square of fabric. And then you're gonna grab another one of these. Grab two buddies, cause there's two sides of the bowls. You might want to do two different fabrics on this. Um, and these bowls are reversible. So, you know, I mean, it's endless, the, the possibilities. And I haven't been very creative. I'm sure you guys can be creative, but I can't wait to see pictures of what you make. Here's my second square with my second square fabric with my second square of batting. Now, we're not gonna be precise here. You can be precise if you want to, but I'm not going to be precise. So let me go ahead and move my sewing machine over so you guys can see what I'm doing. But all I'm going to do is quilt these squares with just the fabric and the batting I'm gonna throw it on the sewing machine. I'm gonna go like mean, meanly fast. So you guys don't have to watch me sew. So, but I guess we could see how fast we could really do these. And it doesn't have to be super precise either, you guys. So just let's not try to go for precision. So I went one line across this way. We're gonna do an X. So these are like a quilted fabric cozy. So let's do our other X right here. And then this one is now quilted. All Michelle right. Michelle wants to know if you made your shirt. I didn't matches. make my shirt, but the shirt is available at Down East. And Elise is the one that's talking on Facebook and helped me understand the questions. Elise and I, we both shop at Down East. One time we went to church together, we both had on the same dress, huh, Elise? Yes. <laughs> It was a black and white gingham dress. <laughs> so now we have a deal that before we wear the dress, we text message each other that morning of church so we don't show up. I text messaged you, huh? I'm wearing the dress. Yes. Is that okay? <laughs> so it's actually a shirt from Down East Home. I kind of feel like it's rather comfortable um, during this holiday season. And it's, it's nice and warm. It has a little bit of flannel to it. Okay, I'm Xing this other one while we're chit-chatting, you guys. I'm so sorry. Okay, where are you guys all from? 
tell me where you are. Please like this video, share it if you want to with other people that might want to, um, might be interested in this with some quilting or sewing Delinda buddies. says we should take pictures together. Oh yes, oh we should take pictures. We'll take a picture of Elise and I <laughs> in our, our matching dresses and post it for you. <laughs> Renee from Dallas, Texas. Okay. Michelle from West Virginia. Ooh. Amanda from Wisconsin. We have so many fun people. I love it. Okay, so here's my X'd out block, okay? You guys can see it a little bit better on the batting side. Janet from Draper. Oh, Janet, we're in Cottonwood Heights, Utah. Linda from Michigan. We're going to go ahead and fold this in half like this. I am going to use my favorite ruler. I love this size. What, what ruler is your favorite? This one's my favorite. But I'm gonna use my favorite ruler Kim right here. Kim from Australia. Oh, Kim from Australia, too fun. You're probably nice and warm down there, yes. Kim, right now, this That's time of the I year. Wish I was. <laughs> yes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna measure one inch over from the center fold. I've got really good pictures in the pattern. And two inches down on that little piece. We're gonna put little dots right there. And then we're gonna draw a diagonal. This is how we're gonna get our tapered look to, the, um, to these bowls, okay? We're gonna taper this. The cut file that I have for you guys has all the tapering all figured out and the curved edges. So we're gonna go ahead and mark this one inch over to the left and two inches down on the fold. I'm going to, I'm using a blue Sharpie marker. I don't find a problem with using a sharper, Sharpie marker. I'm gonna um, do this again right here on that side, folding this uh, lengthwise, the square. I'm gonna go one inch over, two inches down, and let's go ahead and connect those two marking points. If it's not precise, nobody's really gonna notice. I don't think so. Um, Debbie wants to know if Down East has a website to order Yes, from. they do have an online store. You guys, let's all go buy this store, this picture and post pictures of, a, of us with this shirt on. Uh, Amy, it's terrible fun. Amy made a couple last night, but not with the curve. Oh, you didn't? Okay, good. Well, I'm excited. Well, Amy, will you post pictures of the, of the bowl cozies you did? Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just... So if you open this up, your little tapered markings look like this. It almost kind of looks like a pinwheel type look. So I'm going to fold it again, and I'm gonna just stitch on this line, that tapered line. So, and you guys, it really doesn't have to be super precise. Um, you know, every bowl, I mean, they all have different shapes to them. So I'm gonna go over here, I tapered that one. I'm gonna come up here, and I'm gonna taper this one. And let's go ahead and pull that up. Kim wants to know what kind of fabric is it flannel? Um, oh, this, the, the, the bowl cozies I'm using is not flannel. This is a buffalo plaid. We have got bolts of it, you guys. I'm like wanting to go everything buffalo plaid. I don't know if it's an addiction or not. But we have bolts of it. It's available for sale on Stitches Quilting that you can get 30% off. So I'm gonna do my last little side here, and we've got other plaids that I've been trying to c collect bolts of plaids for you, if you are interested. Maybe I'm collecting them for myself, you guys. I don't know. There's, What's healthy? There's some people asking where to get the pattern. Oh, where to get the pattern. So if you're interested in the pattern, just say, um, show me the pattern, soup bowl, in the Facebook comments, that um, send you a notification where the pattern is through Facebook Messenger, but it's on the Stitches Quilting website. So yeah, don't you worry, it's, you're all taken care of. Okay, so I tapered this and I've got this bowl-like look. And now you can use your scissors to trim off the excess fabric, or you can use your roller, ruler and your rotary blade. Okay, so but just for the sake of time so we can go fast here, I'm going to pull this down. So I don't know, are any of you guys getting um, a message already in your Facebook Messenger? Are yeah, you getting the messages? Some people have said thank you. Oh, good. I'm so glad that you're getting the pattern. If you're on Instagram, just click the link up there. And also, same thing with Facebook. I'm going to measure my taper again. 
So right here, we are one inch over from the fold at the top. I have to do my other side of the bowl and two inches down. I should have done some pre-work for this live. It would make it go faster, but we can chat more, right? Uh, Cindy from Vermont, or... Er. And I'm going to show you how I curve these. Someone, so just one Cindy moment. said there was two feet of snow where she was. You're kidding! Two feet of snow. We don't have any snow right now. The the um, the they're getting snow up in the mountains, and we're right. We're about 15 minutes from the ski resorts where we live here in Cottonwood Heights. Let's go ahead and mark this one. Like that. Lots of people. Yes, thank you. I'm getting it. Good. I'm so glad you guys are getting the pattern. I'm going to just kind of wing it here. I kind of hate taking too much uh, time. Delinda has already printed it out. Really? Oh, Delinda, I'm so glad. I'm so glad. And you could print it out or use it as a digital form. Save it forever on your computers. So you always have this. I've always wanted to make these. I never did. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and taper this one really quickly so that um, we can, I can show you how to curve these bowls now. So if you use the SVG cut file, then it will cut out already tapered and curved. So let's go ahead and pull this off. And I'm just stitching on that ugly Sharpie marker line there. And I'm using an ugly Sharpie marker so you guys can see it. Although I use this ugly Sharpie marker most of the time anyways. So now remember, for those that have liked this post um, for, the, for today's live video, um, you'll be eligible to go ahead and win. Um, uh, there's going to be three people that win a kit for these, um, for a, a, a bowl. We're going to send you the fabric, the batting, and everything else. So... Go ahead and just show all the love. Let me know you're here with your comments so that I can see all that. Um, Laurie okay. is asking if you're using flannel or regular cotton. I am using regular cotton, but you could definitely use flannel for these soup bowls. You can use anything you want because they're completely washable. Okay, so we've got our two um, shells for our, our soup bowls. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the curved process. So let me clear off some of this space here and we're gonna have these guys help me. So let's go ahead. I have grabbed another bowl, any bowl. It doesn't have to be a bowl that matches. I'm going to lay it down on my square here. You guys, this is so simple, it's obnoxious how simple it is. I'm using my ugly Sharpie marker, hopefully not drawing on the bowl. I sometimes have, but alcohol swabs or hand sanitizers, if I wipe it really fast, gets it off of there. So uh, I'm someone just- Someone asked if it was heat resistant fabric. Um, heat resistant fabric. If you're using- uh, um, if, Or batting, heat resistant batting. Um, I have been putting in, for me, I don't picture us, um, I don't picture us putting these in the microwave so much for my family. So I have been using one layer of insole, um, insole fleece. So, but if you put that in there, it's not microwavable anymore. So can you guys see how there's all, I put those curves on each one of these. I'm only marking one of the shells, okay? So now we're going to take this shell, put them right sides together. So I'm going to flip this around and I'm going to put it inside of here. And then I am going to stitch on this blue, ugly Sharpie marker line. Okay, so that is then going to be my stitching line. But see over here, I don't have a stitching line over here. I'm just gonna stitch on this one up above, and I'm gonna improvise some too. So I'm gonna put this together. If I had some pins right here, I would grab some pins. Renee says you need to let people know cotton batting will catch fire in the microwave. It will, really? Um, I, I thought that the cotton, like the natural fibered cotton batting, 
um, does well in the microwave, but let's go ahead and research that. I'm very curious. I'm very, very but curious. Then someone says if you want them to be microwavable, make sure you use cotton. Yes. Okay, now as I'm stitching this though, Donna real fast. Donna says if you use 100% cotton, you can yes, use the microwave. Yes, if you use natural fibers, if you use that polyester, it's going to melt a little bit more. We're going to leave about a two inch opening on the side of this so that we can flip it inside out. So I am just going to go ahead and I don't know if you guys want to bring the camera like maybe a little bit more over here. And I am just going to stitch right on top of my blue stitching line right here. Wish I had a little bit better light. And I'm going to just bring this around and I've only marked one side of these. And I'm trying to see if I can get my little seams matched up, but I'm not trying to take too much time while we're on live to make this. I just want you guys to kind of get an idea of how these are constructed. And we're gonna bring this around and I'm using a nice black thread so you guys can see what my stitching is like. So I'm coming around my last opening right here and we're gonna bring this around. I'm stitching on this line. I'm gonna come back here and then I'm gonna do a little bit of a back stitch. Sometimes you guys, I don't back stitch. I just kind of hold it in place like that. And then that's my back stitching if I'm lazy. So or maybe I'm being efficient. Alicia says it has to contain no scrim in the batting to ah. be able to microwave that. Okay, very good. Oh, I didn't back stitch right here. Okay, very good. Thank you, Alicia, for that comment. For that feedback, I appreciate that. So no scrim. So scrim, scrim free batting is what you want. Cotton, natural fiber batting. Okay, now we're going to trim off the excess fabric here. You guys, even the ginger scissors are on sale 30% off. And there's some purple ginger scissors that are really on sale, you guys. If you're wanting to do anything like that. I love my gingers when it comes to cutting thicker layers like this. Okay, so now you can also just give yourself a little bit of some cuts in here to, so that when you turn this, it won't be, it'll, it'll turn nicely, but I don't feel like I have to do too many because these are some nice gentle curves. We're gonna toss that on the floor. Now we're gonna birth. We're gonna birth our, our fabric sewing bowl. So this was the opening I left right here so we're gonna birth it out let's turn it out inside out it's coming it's coming inside out come on little fabric bowl here we go oh i love this buffalo plaid i know i'm silly but any of these fabrics are gorgeous i can't tell you how much christmas fabric we have you can just go to stitches quilting and i'm sure you guys have so much fabric in your fabric stash too you don't even need to spend money Pattern okay, me. just ask for the pattern. If you're on Facebook, say, send me the pattern, and Facebook will send you the link. Um, in fact, Matt, would you mind sharing the link in the comments? Now, you guys, I want to show you this. I didn't catch both layers, so uh, can you see that right there? Somebody wants to know where to get the Ginger Scissors on sale at. At stitchesquilting.com, 30% off, and go for the purple ones. I think I only have three pairs left. Those are on massive they're already on sale plus 30 percent off so there's some beautiful purple ginger scissors for sale i need to turn this back out because that spot i didn't catch let me see if i caught all my seams so this is definitely something you'll want to do so right here i need to catch this little spot so i'm going to just throw this back under the sewing machine and catch that one and then we'll turn it inside out back again and I have two little vulnerabilities I'm going too quickly but you know these things happen anyways and then right here I had an opening so I'm going to just stitch it back a little bit deeper I just want to kind of get this done real quickly so you guys aren't watching a uh, live forever right okay so let's look Oh, I still have my little hole. That's horrible. I gotta do it again. 
I'm, I'm stitching in the wrong spot, but that's Mary okay. Mary Martin wants you to post the link for the scissors. Oh, oh, okay. Well, Mary, I'm not on my, um, maybe Matt can pull up, okay, one more time, the Stitches Quilting website and search Ginger. We'll have to spell it for Matt. He probably doesn't know how to spell Ginger. Um... And we'll, we'll wait for Matt to pull it up. GM. On the Stitches website? Stitches Quilting. Pull up Stitches Quilting. You might want to do it from the back end. Okay, I think I got all my holes. You guys, I'm such a holy person. Not really. I'm not holy. I like to be good person. Okay, there we go. So there is our bowl, okay? Now what I'm going to do is I've got this opening right here. I'm going to close this opening and I'm going to top stitch all the way around. And this is going to be finished. And it was fun. I've made several of these and I'm still having fun doing it. I'm sure you guys have made so many of these. Carolyn wants to know if you made your shirt. No, I didn't make my shirt. It's <laughs> available at downeast.com and you can go on their website and you can find the shirt. Somebody wants to know where you got the Nutcracker from. The Nutcracker I got from Joann's a couple years ago and I have like three of them. I bought a bunch of them on sale. Um, I have not seen them at Joann's this year, but we'll see. I did get do a video on how to decorate your Christmas tree and I'll share that video, a little sewing Christmas tree. And then we'll have to maybe do a live video doing that. It's just kind of fun. But you know, there are some people that don't celebrate Christmas. There's lots of holidays during the season. And I want everybody to know that I am supportive of whatever, whatever kind of celebration you have. So, okay, I sewed around the top. Uh, which shears? Um, it's called Ginger, G-I-N, and they're purple handed. Is it? The dressmaker shoes? Yes, I think it is. The dressmaker with the purple handle. Amanda and, wants to Okay, know there we go. Yes. If you can make them for swearables. And Audrey says she came from Instagram to find the pattern, but she doesn't see it. Okay, the pattern, if you just say in there, send me the pattern. Um, I need the soup bowl pattern. In your comment, it will automatically send it to you through Facebook Messenger. So, but it is on the Stitches Quilting website, and we do have an icon up of where to find the pattern and the post for that. So you guys, look, now I have two of these. I wrote the pattern using these, um, the black and white buffalo plaid, and then here's another one of these. So right now I have six bowls. I gotta keep going. <laughs> okay, so people for this post, our three people from Facebook are going to win some of this black snowflake fabric. I thought it would be a lot of fun to use. Um, we have this, do we have this in any other color, the snowflakes, Elise? No. I don't think so, but we've got some other really, I mean, there's so many fabrics we have here, it's crazy. And then you're gonna get ten, some 10 inch squares of this, 10 inch squares of the batting, and then you'll have the pattern too. So we're gonna pick three people so Elise is gonna pick three people from Facebook. Did you share the link? For the scissors, yeah. Oh, and Matt shared the uh, the link for the those Ginger scissors. There's only three pairs, ladies, so if you want it. And use the coupon code 30OFF. But there's, there's other Ginger scissors we have online too. So let's see here if we can figure out our winners. So if you've shared, if you've gone ahead and liked, the um the post for this that makes you eligible to win and we'll maybe even pick out some other bonus people when i do announce your name i do need you guys to direct message me your mailing address this is open internationally we will ship to anywhere if they're international phone and uh, yes and if you are international we'll need your telephone number and your email address to put into the custom stuff so it's just a little bit more so we'll just need that but Somebody asked if you sell Christmas fabric. Yes, we have so much Christmas fabric. It's all on sale, 30% off. You can go to Stitches Quilting. Use the coupon code 3030OFF. 
in lowercase letters. You can message me when you're on my site. There'll be a little box that comes up where you can direct message me and chat as you're making your purchase or just chat if you want to. So I'm always available. Or Elise and, and some of us. How do I look yes. through all the comments? Okay, so should we, should we, uh, Lisa's feeling like, oh, should we look at it on the computer? Or, you know what, we'll announce the winners of the three winners. I, we, we didn't have, we weren't prepared. Do you see some people on live right now at all on Instagram? We need two people. Will you um, announce their, their, their usernames? Um, like their handles. It says at, and they have like a little handle. Matt is looking at that one. So two people, and at least if you see three people that shared or liked or did some things, just any any three people. But do you see any handles? It'll say it next to the name. Just people commenting? Yeah, people commenting. If you comment, that makes it easier for me, for us to see you. Do you see like a like next to their comment, like their little name, or does it just show a picture? No, there's names. There's names. Okay, go ahead. Okay, um... Soist 51. Okay, Soist 51 <laughs> on Instagram. Okay, give us another name, Matt. And Creative Spirit 8. Creative Spirit 8. Okay, Creative Spirit 8. Okay, both of you guys won a kit for the, the fabric sewing bowls. Elise, do you have any ideas for uh, Instagram for Facebook? Let's see, Lucy Long. Lucy Long! Okay, Lucy, message me your address and everything else so that we can ship you your stuff through Facebook Messenger. Victoria Palmer. Victoria Palmer. All right. Yay. And a third one by chance? Uh, we try to be random, but we'll be live again tomorrow for more winners. And be sure to enter the, the, the enter for the giveaway of the 15 yards of fabric. There's some on Facebook and Instagram. Tomorrow we'll go live and we're gonna do the pattern tutorial for the square hot pad. Okay? And let's see if, if um, Elise has a third name. Carolyn Schofield. Oh, Carolyn Schofield! Or Sco or Schofield I think. Yes, okay! Hi, Carolyn! You guys are so awesome. I love you all. Okay, so we're gonna cut up your kits for this and get those shipped hopefully tomorrow. Um, and let us know if there's anything you need. Be sure to go and download the pattern and check out other things. If you have more ideas of fun tutorials that we'll do, let me grab these little cute little things over here. We're also gonna do sign up for post notifications. So we're gonna do a tutorial and a free pattern on this cookie sheet pattern. We're gonna do a tutorial for this hot pad with a ruffled edge. And I'm gonna change the shape of this. This is actually a a cut file in the Cricut Maker Simplicity pattern, but I will change up the shape of this so it can be a free pattern for you guys that'll be slightly different, but we'll still do the rough robe edge. We've got some other, lots of other things that we're doing from fabric baskets to lots of things. If you have ideas for other live tutorials of fun things to make around the holidays, let me know because, and show me post pictures. Join the Everyone Can Quilt Facebook group, but tag me in Instagram if you're making any of these. Um, and also, you know, tag me and share lots of posts and pictures and stuff. So I love you guys. Can't wait to see you tomorrow. On the other side, we're going to ship out to the winners and have lots of fun. Okay, can't wait to see you guys tomorrow. Square hot pads. <laughs>